Let us do an activity to identify the effect of area of contact on frictional force. Click each tab to know more. Take a break. Tie a string around the break. Now place the break on a table in such a way that the face with a greater width is in contact with the surface of the table. Take a spring balance and attach one of its ends to the break. Now pull the spring balance slowly. Keep on increasing the pull on the spring balance until the brick just begins to move. Start sliding. Note down the reading of the spring balance. Repeat the same process by placing the brick upright as shown on screen so that the smallest face is in contact with the table surface. Once again, observe the readings on the spring balance. We have observed the same readings on the spring balance in both the cases irrespective of the area of contact of the surfaces. We learned that there are two forces acting on the brick in the horizontal direction. One is the force of friction and the other is the applied force. So, the applied force is equal to the maximum limit of the frictional force at the instant when the brick just begins to move. Hence, we can conclude that limiting friction is independent of the area of cross-section in contact with the other body.